here we have the, the how to win the nationals this is australian road nationals course we're going to use some data here from the current australian champion michael freeberg uh we have it's a lap circuit in Buninyong, which is in ballarat victoria australia and it's basically i think it's about 16 laps up a climb it's a fast climb let's have a look at the data here we'll get to we'll cut to the video so i'll show you i'll show you the tactics that work but let's look at the power because it doesn't matter if you've got the best tactics in the business or the worst tactics in the business if you don't have the power you won't be up there so it's about four hours 44 of muscle glycogen and the average watts talking 315 this ride is probably about 80 kilos so it's not it's, it's, it's decent but it's not hardcore it's not european standard and we have uh, 500 watts. So the hottest lap was 546, which is a little bit uh, slower compared to what has been previous years. So this looked like on paper the easiest nationals for quite some time, which is a lot of reasons for that. We'll get into that later potentially. And uh, we have so 500 watts at about 80 kilos. So we're talking about 6, 6, 2, 6 watts per kilo roundabouts, give or take. And uh, so a very good time up there, but still not close to the times that Jack Bobridge, et cetera, were doing back in, I think it was 2016. So a bit easier this year. Uh, conditions were pretty pleasant. And so we see basically each lap, you know, 450, 400, 400. It's, you know, if we've got average those watts out, we're probably looking at maybe 410 watts average. So not, you know, nothing extreme. Well under six watts per kilo uh, each lap. So basically... At those speeds, you know, you see 23k an hour, uh, you know, the fastest one was romping up there, 29k an hour. So the first one was, or well, the first fast one was 29k an hour, but it's on the second lap. So 29k an hour, and on the last lap, 23k an hour. And that's with a, a group chasing from behind. So we see, and the heart rate 163. Uh, so we can see there that there was a bit of uh, fatigue going on, muscle glycogen starting to wind out. And we saw on the downhill finish, 400 watts, 170. So heart rate's up. The heart rate's responding to the caffeine or the stimulants or whatever, but the legs aren't responding. Then we've run out of muscle glycogen. And the heart rate kicks up again, 175. Let's have a look at his watts. So 169. So this is when his legs were really responding and heart rate's like, yeah, I'm pretty cool here. But at the end, we see the heart rate go up, but the legs aren't responding. That means simply that the cyclist has run out of sugar and maybe water as well. Muscle glycogen, not enough sugar there, but still enough to win. So there you go. But if it was against, you know, in a European scene, this would be this would be a pack fill, pack, pack fill watts per kilo, basically pack fill watts per kilo. Uh, so it sounds still fantastic effort, better than effort than I could do, just given the honest, honest data here. So on the last... 48 seconds of the race I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's the case I've got some bringing around here the last 48 seconds of the race we've got 450 watts at 50k an hour 170 so he's going full gas with the heart he's had that finish bottle but unfortunately the watts the watts just weren't there from what they could have been this guy could have monstered it totally I and mean, he still won he did enough but again this is why you wouldn't get a contract you know pro contract even though the Australian champion you know, the, the, the people go, they look at the, the, the data you've done, they're like, nah, good win, mate, good win, smart tactics, good head, but not enough power to be cutting it in Europe. Now let's go to the race, and I'll show you the tactics. So now we've got the power here, we've got the tactics, let's bring it down. Okay, welcome to the race of the Nationals. This is, we've got the last, oh, how many Ks has got to come on? Sure, this is about the last 10 minutes, so this is going to be good. This is a bit of highlights, so I might jump around here. But we have three riders in the break. I won't really mention the names too much, so I'm going to get wrong, but uh, let's call it Blue, Green, and uh, Blue. Blue, Green, Blue. Let's call it. I'll get this. This is no, no, some names of the riders. I think we got a. I got this. Okay, let's go yellow. Okay, yellow, green, blue. All right, so yellow on the top right. Yellow helmet, white helmet, green, and blue. And so we see this guy in the front is the uh, professional rider, the blue and yellow, pro, the pro rider. He actually has makes good money from road cycling, pro cycling. The other two riders are probably financed by mum and dad and uh, just local lads who are very, very, very fit and having a really good ride here. And so you're going to see different tactics here and different mindsets. And these guys have got very good skill. Uh, these two riders who are sitting on this guy here have got very good skill. Look how they go, they go around the corners very, very fast. You know, look at the watch. They're not getting gapped. 
these guys don't have that much experience, but yet they're keeping up with the World Tour Pro Rider. So they're doing a fantastic job there. And they're swapping off there. So the, the white helmet green guy goes into the front, pulls a turn. And so cycling's all about drafting, it's about aerodynamics. And they're about to catch up to the lead group. This is the lead group. And uh, we see a rider swing off to the left. Now we've got a few teammates. We've got uh, two blue riders. And we've got another blue who's attacking. There's another guy. So this guy here is attacking straight away. He's looking back. See, he's looking back. Looking back again. Looking back again. Oh, you know, like, how are you meant to breathe if you're looking backwards? All right, this is where we need the mirror. This is where we need mirror sponsor here. This, this guy needs a cat eye BM4. Look, look back again. Like, what? Like what? And this guy here's got a mechanical. Uh, turned out he's, he's actually the winner here. We'll, we'll, we'll name him. This is Michael Freeberg. So he's just stopped his bike. He looks like his chain slipped off. He's getting a push back. And he's uh, changing the gears. See, what he did then? He changed the gears, right? He, as he's getting a push, he's changing his gears to make it easier so he can get back to speed faster. Now, as there's attacks going, boom, look at that. That's a fast dismount. So that's very calm, collected thinking there. Very calm, collected thinking. But that is really about keeping a cool head. So he did. He didn't lose his bananas, didn't spit his chips, change through the gears. So this guy getting the push there is very, very mentally lucid in that moment. He's thinking smart. He's staying cool. And he's going to go, go. And then he's getting a draft back to the car. Again, without the cars, the motor pacing, you're not really going to get back on. So is that legal or illegal? I think it's fair because, you know, it was an accident. Where he, you know, I think it's fair that he gets a draft back personally. Another attack goes off. So look at the white, the white crusty whiteness of that, jer that jersey there. So this, this is the rider here who's about to really fade from dehydration. He's about to fade from dehydration. He's got so much salt. And looking back again, I'm like, oh, yeah, what's going on? So this is a dummy attack. You can't attack properly and look behind. And looking back again. You know what I mean? Like this, you're mentally not committed. You're looking backwards like that. You, you're changing your whole physiology looking back. And it also shows the riders behind you that you're mentally weak in that moment, that you value their fitness, you, you're scared of it. And this guy looking back again. You want to have a look in the mirror, man. Look in the mirror. You know, I understand it's important to see who's coming, but you want to look in the mirror. So we see Freeberg's back on. So the guy who's got the mechanical is back on. Now they're all back together. They're doing these dummy attacks. They're looking around at each other. Nothing's really serious. This is a serious move. Well, this is the front of the race. So everyone behind is out of the race. And so everyone's looking backwards. This is where crashes can happen. Looking back. This is when the mind games fuck you up in your own self that can really be bad for you because you're looking backwards and you're thinking about other people but which is great because you've got to be aware of what's going on but the, the physiology of looking back shunts your breathing so your recovery is lessened so the rider who doesn't look back is going to be breathing easier who's going to have a higher percent of oxygen saturation in their muscles looking back kills performance it's not only dangerous it kills performance so there's a bit of talking here and looking to the right as well so here we go, this guy in the green is just thinking, oh, we might just walk off the front here. People are just sort of, uh, you know, I can get a bit of Instagram photos here. We are out in the front of the Nationals. It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. We've got the teams versus this guy. So this guy's doing pretty good. But there's also three versus two. And there's, isn't it amazing that there's those blue jerseys, they're not all the same team. There's two teams there. They did a, they should have, I'm not sure why they picked such same color jerseys and black helmets. A black helmet is also a bad idea. It's lucky this race wasn't too hot. You can't, you don't see much road shimmer. But if it was a hot race, having a black helmet, it roasts your brain to a you know, low degree. But it gives your head a lot more heat. So your central governor system is going, man, this is really hard and it has to be. Wear a white helmet. This guy with the white helmet has got smart thinking on. His head is the coolest. His head's temperature is going to be the coolest out of everyone here. The yellow is good, but you want to have white or neon yellow. Just bright colors like a flower. You don't have black. You know, it's just radiating, absorbing the heat. Now, here, here's the second batch, but these guys are, are way down, are way down. They're throwing water bottles. This is dumb. You should be drinking that. You should be drinking that. But it's good that they're throwing them uh, at a safe zone versus chucking in, in the nature bush there. So here we go. We've got an, a, a move here by Chris Harper. This is a guy. Uh, these guys look, look to be about 70-something kilos each. So slim, but not super, super skinny. They're about 70-odd kilos, so they're not like 50-kilo Quintana's types. So they're, they look to be about six foot each, and uh, the right mouth open, good, breathing well. 
And look at that cadence. Look at the cadence. Here we go. He's going to attack. That's Chris Harper, local Adelaide guy. On the carbs, on the cadence. And there's a quick reaction there by uh, the second place right there. We'll call him, we'll call him, uh, let's call him Cameron. He looks like a Cam Cameron. Let's call him Cam Cameron. He, his, his last name's probably Meyer or something. He looks like his my last name could be Meyer. Let's call him Cam Meyer. And he's, he's, moved, he's bridged across that gap there by Chris Harper. And now you can see some riders at the back here getting dropped off. And again, remember, this is not hard watts. This is not hard watts. You can see the riders at the back getting dropped. These are the two in more inexperienced riders who probably, or I would say definitely, didn't eat and drink enough. They have the fitness to be able to make the moves, but they lack the carbohydrate and water storage uh, of the, the guys in front. And that just comes down to not eating and drinking enough. But and then you can have all the best skills in the corners and the downhills and have a good mindset. But if you don't eat and drink enough, if you don't eat enough carbs, you don't drink enough water, see you later. So you want to take at least a half a liter to a liter an hour in this race. You at least want to take 100 grams of sugar per, per hour. So this is a five-hour race. So if you don't get through half a kilo of sugar in this race, then you really didn't eat enough and your performance is suffering. All right, so here we have we got one, two, three, four. I can count to four. I did pass high school. No, I didn't. And we got more. We got, we got five riders here, and uh, so we got sitting on the back there. And also another move here, another attack there. There we go. It's another attack, and uh, so the teammate is in the yellow helmets. They look like hornets. They're chasing him down. He's, he's so this guy's gone again, and there's two minutes forty apparently behind the group behind. Uh, they're like the, the the chasing main group. He would only be a few meters ahead of his breakaway companions there. So he's on a rim brake bike. They're all on rim brake bikes. And he's got his mouth open, so he's looking good, looking pretty relaxed, breathing well from the belly. And uh, he's got the cadence going good. Now we've got the guys behind hand. We've got two of the red, the yellow hornets, and we've got the Michael Freeberg guy, the big guy. So they've dropped a few riders now, haven't they? They've dropped a few riders. There's a few of the, uh, the Oracle Greenish guys have been dropped. Now here we have, here, look at this attack from the back. And look at that. He sort of blocked his teammate a little bit. Uh, That's good, though. Looking, looking back, looking back, dumb move. Looking back, that's, you know, professional rider doing a rookie mistake. Looking back, you should be have a mirror. And now he's going to look, is he going to look back again? Is he going to look back again? Look, are you going gonna, gonna to shunt your breathing again? No, he's, he's doing a good job. He's doing good. He's looking forward. There we go. Here we go. Now he's looking back. Now Harper's looking back. That's dumb as well. You know, so if you had a mirror on there, you know, and the mirror saves all this energy, man. All this energy. We're going we're to show you later on how the mirror won and lost this race. So these guys are blinded. You never want to be blind what's coming from behind. You always want to know. You always want to know what's behind you if you're a racing cyclist. You always want to know. Looking back again, looking over. There's a bit of, bit of a chit chat here. There's, so, okay, so the watts now are about zero. The watts are about zero. There's a 20 second gap and there's zero watts going on here. Now here we go back up to 300. And there's a bit of talk, a bit of chit chat. Zero watts. 300 watts, 250, and then on the downhill, uh, he's talking, he's looking backwards. So again, this is just bad tactics. This is amateur hour with pro riders, you know, and uh, it's just looking back. It's no, you know, what's going on here? We're talking about Strava. We're talking about white shoes. How, how do you keep white shoes clean, mate? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I chuck them in the washing machine, but uh, use a bit of nappy sand. Yeah, no, nappy sand's not too bad for the environment. Yeah, it's got low biodegradable value there so yeah what's up how's how you been anyway what's your instagram i'll give you a follow and so in, meanwhile here we have this guy here freeberg he not caring about his nappy sand shoes even though he does have white shoes he's like chasing down. look at this yeah i'm not too sure instagram i, 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 I sort of can't really post on there much later it's a bit, bit busy and look, this guy's coming along man this is the this is the shark about to hit these two sardines up the road who having a little bit of sunday chat and they're, they're unaware they're unaware they don't have a mirror they're looking back a little bit here and there's oh hang on what you know, look at this cat and mouse and just talking about Instagram and white shoe nappy sand techniques. And meanwhile, the shark's like, fuck this, I'm out here. Look at this. Look at this. This is giving away the race. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is where if they had a mirror on, they could have seen the threat coming. But they just sort of, this is a big mistake. This is where, <laughs> oh man. So we've got to give uh, the winner here, Michael Freeberg, the credit for like, you know, just not never giving up. Never giving up. You know, he wasn't the best rider of the day, but he was definitely the smartest in terms of you know, headstrong attitude. So the other guys, again, this is 450 watts. This last 40 seconds, 450 watts. So the other guys behind have run out of carbohydrates in that last bit. So but based on the watts, based on the watts, you know, I could have won this sprint 
on fresh legs. But there you go. So that is, uh, he's happy, happy Larry there. Happy Larry there. And Chris Harper's like, oh my God, we lost that. Cameron Meyer was in tears there. But that's just, yeah, that's just how it's done with power. That's how it's done with carbs, with cadence. Don't look back. Look back, you lose watts. Simple as that. So every time you want to lose some watts, look back. You've got, the, you've got your jersey zipped up. You've got your aero sunglasses. You've got your aero bike, your aero fork, and you look back. Lose that aeroness. Can't breathe properly. So remember, kids, if you want to give you a competition an advantage, keep looking back. All right? Don't look forward. Look back. You want to increase your danger? Look back. <laughs> you want to increase your, your surface area? Keep looking back. Keep looking back. What's behind you? Keep looking back. Keep looking back. Get a mirror.